So myself is Dr. Pradeep Kumar Goswami. I'm a consultant gynecologist and obstetrician and a subspecialist in fetal and maternal medicine. I'm the founder and director of Fitomat Foundation and the lead consultant in this team. Well, Down syndrome is uh, the commonest uh, chromosomal problem uh, found uh, in the fetus. Uh, the incidence roughly is, a, is about 1 in 700 pregnancy if you look on the overall data from all over the world. Uh, now, it is related to mother's age. So, if the mother's age increases during the course of the pregnancy, then the possibility of baby getting a Down syndrome or related syndrome like Edwards syndrome and Patau syndrome increases. However, it is very important to stress that the child from any age of the mother may have these syndromes, Down syndrome group, what we call as you know. So, the manifestation in this Down syndrome and allied groups like Edwards and Patau is the mental retardation of the child, so much so that it is not compatible with the normal life. In addition, at least 50% of the Down's babies will have a major structural defects like the defect in the heart, defect in the brain, defect in the kidney. So therefore, it is very important to know about this very important syndrome uh, and, and as, as a part of the initial investigation of the pregnancy. And the way we do it is by two means. Uh, it is done roughly at around 12 weeks or 3 months of the pregnancy. It can be done between 11 to 14 weeks as an initial test, what we call as the combined first trimester screening. The second option, if someone misses this window, the 11 to 14 weeks, they can still opt for this test somewhere around 15 and a half, 16 weeks onwards, roughly up to 20 weeks, which is around from fourth month of the pregnancy to fifth month of the pregnancy. The first test, the combined first trimester screening is a combination of blood and ultrasound. The ultrasound is called as the nuchal translucency scan which assesses the thickness of the skin on the back of the baby's neck. Along with that, the mothers have a blood test called as double marker test. And it is a very special test which assesses two very important pregnancy hormones, namely free beta HCG and PAP A. And this is a special blood which is taken usually on a piece of paper, it is called as DBS or dried blood spot technique and the findings of the ultrasonography as well as the hormonal levels in the mother's blood are assessed along with few biophysical parameters which involves like the mother's history, mother's weight, uh, mother's family history, uh, mother's age, mother's race and various other parameters like whether it's an IVA pregnancy or test tube baby, whether uh, it is a single pregnancy or twin pregnancy, uh, whether the mother have taken any particular hormone injections just before the test, whether the mother had any bleeding during the course of the pregnancy. So all these ultrasound features, history features as well as the blood parameters are put into a software for a probability assessment. So probability means this test will tell whether likely the baby is going to be normal or not and it is reported as positive or negative. If the test is reported as negative, then it is likely that the baby will be normal and will not or should not suffer from these syndromes. If it is positive, it still does not mean that the baby will have Down syndrome. However, further tests are necessary to exclude that possibility. Now, if the mother books late to the doctor, they still have the option of having similar test, which is called as quadruple test, which also assesses few other ultrasound parameters as, along with four blood hormone markers. Uh, that's why it is called as quadruple test. And again, you know, it's a probability analysis in a software, which gives us the risk as positive or negative. So again, negative means 
in quadruple taste the baby is unlikely to have a down syndrome or related problems but if it is positive then further tests are necessary to exclude that possibility